we have some exciting news. We sold, sold the house. house. This is going to be very tight. That noise. We've been in lockdown here in Melbourne for over 200 days. It's pretty hard with two little kids, so we've definitely felt the struggle, as I'm sure many of our fellow Victorians and people around the world are feeling with this pandemic. A day in the life of lockdown. Kids toys, husband playing games. <laughs> I want the virus to go away. You want the virus to go away? Oh darling, I do too. Hopefully soon. Say hi Story. Hi. Hi. Unfortunately, the press conference is a never ending season that I'm currently watching. But we have some exciting news. And no, I am not pregnant. <laughs> we are selling our house. Which is really exciting and a complete curveball to our original plans. This was our dream house when we built it. But obviously through the pandemic, we realized the importance of family and having family close by and a support network for the day to day, which we really, really need and appreciate. We went and visited our family and while we were down there, we viewed an incredible property. Josh actually found the property on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> the thought of moving out to acreage with a huge shed and fruit trees for the kids and really trying to embrace that small uh, farm life so the kids can grab their own eggs, grow their own veggies. Um, we feel like that's, that's very, very important. And the same reason that we bought the RV is just to try and give our kids a better life experience and catch up on all this terrible lockdown that we've been through. Now that we've decided on our new direction in life, we just want to get started. However, the RV is still a priority for us and there's some beautiful areas close to where we're living around Bright, Beechworth, and we're really excited to continue the dream of being able to take our girls out to nature and experience the countryside that we grew up in. So, new beginnings, a complete change of direction. This dream house is no longer our dream house, but things change and we are really excited for the next part of our journey. Restrictions have eased slightly. So our auction is in one week. So basically, if it sells at auction, we have one week plus settlement, which we don't know, that could be 30 days. So we could have 30 days to get this RV done before we move. Jen's been working super hard on the interiors and it's my job to make sure I can get the outside to match what's inside. We absolutely love all these old decals, but as you can see, they're starting to flake off. They're very faded. So we're going to speak to one of our mates who is a graphic designer and a logo designer, and he's going to revamp the Sundancer and the Winnebago branding that goes right around the truck. Joel, Joel. <laughs> so, Joel, like you were one of the first people we thought of when we bought this RV, because we're like, clearly it needs some sort of branding and We've used you many times before. You're the logo branding expert. So we, we desperately need your help to, to bring this baby home. Fabulous, and, mate. Happy to help. Yeah, let's we do need, it. We need you bad. <laughs> Sundancer is obviously its name. Um, unfortunately, the outside's looking a little bit disheveled. Yeah. We love the whole vibe of it. Like, it's cool. We don't want to take away the cool factor. We don't have any real ideas, to be honest. I love that there's, um, you know, there's always, already the echo of that branding that is, is left there. And it's already, um, you know, fairly cool. Um, but we can definitely, like, bring it into this century, but also pay homage to what it is. And, yeah, it'll look fantastic. I can't wait to get into it. It's a big day today here. We're picking up the RV from the storage yard. Always puts a smile on my face. Look at this beast. So we're meeting all the trades and suppliers today. So it's a busy day on the road. Um, and then also hopefully get some demo work done. So yeah, start doing some planning to redo all these graphics. Can't wait. I feel like you're really well. We're gonna like hit 
that for you. All right, Damien, so vinyl wrapping extraordinaire. Well, first of all, welcome to Graphico. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. <laughs> and this is so cool. I love it. There's so many cool things we can do with this, but it's a bit of a sort of a blank canvas. Yes. There's a little bit of uh, prep work to do from what I can see. Uh, a little bit of um, buffing and polishing before we get started into the wrapping, but yes. nothing we haven't dealt with before, so right. I'm sure we can help. So we're thinking about getting it wrapped and we love the, the white colour that it is and the way it's looking, but Fantastic. we really wanted to like stand out on the road, so I think we've, we've come to the right place. Yeah. Um, then we've also got this whole area too. So potentially we'd be interested in wrapping the whole thing. It just comes down to how hard it is. Obviously it's pretty yep. detailed with windows and lights and that sort of thing. Sure. Yeah, I mean, this project's a little bit overwhelming, so I'm glad that you're giving us some advice. So, yeah, thanks for looking at it, and uh, yeah, look forward to getting some work done to it. You too, mate. It's great to be involved. <laughs> a little bit of prep work to do, yes. but we're proud to be involved, so let's get it done. I can't wait to transform this for you. Awesome. Legend. Thanks, right. mate. Cheers. Thank you. Ta. I just pulled up to the upholsterers after picking up from the mechanics. It's been a very busy day and we're leaking coolant here all over the floor. As I said, I know nothing about mechanics, but it looks like the bottle's full and it's overflowing. So I don't know what that means, but at least we got it to the upholsterers and we can say goodbye to the beautiful blue. And um, then I'll have to deal with this at a later stage. So it never ends. We, we sold, sold the, the house. house. Woohoo! Josh was at a little rental property while the auction was going with the girls and I was there for the big deal and we are really, really excited. Sad. Mixed emotions, isn't it? Super relieved. This was our dream house, but it just goes to show that dreams can definitely change and a pandemic can definitely do that to you. Onwards and upwards. What are we doing? We have tartan. Look at the old gal. <laughs> and check this out. Woo! It looks so much better. Let's see if I can jump in and give you a sneak peek. Look at that. It's so good. Now I'm excited. Today is demo day. We've spent so long getting the truck mechanically sound. And now it's time to rip up the carpet, take the doors apart and see what's underneath. Fluffy toilet seat is going. Fluffy <laughs> seat can go, but it's actually a cool toilet, this one. Please don't touch that seat. Huh? Please don't touch the seat. Oh. <laughs> Today is Reno Day. The biggest transformation is going to be the flooring. There's no renovation without a little bit of drama, is there? 